formula for the perfect bodybuilder. Now this formula is based on measurements. The shoulder to waist taper. In my head, the perfect scenario would have be to have shoulders double the circumference of your waist. To me would be fucking insane. Insane, right? Does anyone out there have that? Very difficult to achieve that, to attain that. Shoulders twice the width of the waist. But in my head, that would be the perfect bodybuilder. Is there any bodybuilders out there who have ever attained this kind of freakiness? Now, the first one that comes to my mind is Paul Dillette. Paul Dillette definitely had the physique that would fit this formula, without a doubt. Now, let's talk about the legs. Now, I'm gonna say the legs would be exactly the same measurement as the waist. Let's talk about the arms, all right? To get the arm, what you do is it's two-thirds of your waist measurement. That's how big the arms are, which are monstrous arms. Talk about the calves. The calves are gonna be the same size as the arms. Stage, I believe the arms and calves being the same measurement is perfection. Yeah, you tell me, is this the most unbelievable, perfect bodybuilder physique? Definitely. You know, he had the tiny waist, wide as fucking shoulders you can imagine. Huge arms, huge forearms, calves are fucking out of this world. It's very difficult to attain, it's nearly impossible. And that's why I call it the perfect bodybuilder physique because not very people could ever achieve this. When you're in a, involved in a sport where you're always one of the top, you've been one of the top contenders from you started, and you're still, you know, sustain that. You know that 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 is an achievement, and you have to be happy with you know with what you've accomplished. I mean, you want more, and you'd like to do more, but at the same time, you have to learn to appreciate what you've done also.